There's an argument that was made way back in the 1940s by Hayek in a, a really interesting article called The Intellectuals and in Socialism. There Hayek was answering the question, why are so many members of the intellectual class, the intelligentsia, why are they almost universally in favor of socialism and opposed to capitalism? Again, this is back in 1948, I think is when he first wrote the piece or gave the talk that became the piece. And his answer was, um, he said, look, it's not the case. So the common inference that many people draw is, oh, well, you know, socialism is correct. And the smarter you, you know, intellectuals are smart people. So the smarter you are, the more likely you are to see the light and know that socialism is the way. And so therefore socialism, even more reason that socialism must be true, all the smart people are, you know, support it. Hayek wanted to challenge that with an alternative explanation that was in terms of kind of, you know, people's desire to select into certain professions. So Hayek said, you know, highly intelligent people who like business and markets and commerce and capitalism, they feel comfortable with all those things, are more likely to become entrepreneurs, managers, business executives, right? Smart, intelligent people who don't like markets, don't like capitalism, are more likely to self-select into education, government, the media, and other sort of, you know, uh, positions where as a, by part of the job, it's, you know, they're very public. Right. So you don't, you know, the, the typical entrepreneur, executive, business person, they're too busy running their company to have time to write newspaper articles, you know, back in Hayek's day. Or we might say today, you know, intelligent people who are focused primarily on their company, their profession, uh, some, you know, achievement uh, in that, in the business world, they're not on Twitter, they don't have a sub stack, you know, they're not, they're not on YouTube, they're not, you don't see them. Whereas, you know, smart, intelligent, articulate people who don't like doing stuff in the business world, they're the ones that you see on social media, they're the ones you see in the New York Times, they're the ones you see on, you know, whatever. So, so we get kind of a biased view. We only see the smart people who are kind of progressive. We don't see the smart people who are less progressive because they're not visible to us.